diversity in Golders Green. And as you can see around you, what they have done is they've directly decorated this um, clock tower area of Golders Green in uh, green and gold. And the idea behind it, they say, is to celebrate the diversity of Golders Green. Um, and they launched this program a few weeks ago, and they had standing with them people from all the communities of Golders Green. And uh, as you can see, we of the Campaign for Truth are standing here very proudly for Israel with our Israeli flags. And you may well ask, why are we standing here with our Israeli flags when uh, uh, the Board of Deputies want to celebrate the diversity of Golders Green? Uh, many of you may not know that a few weeks ago, the neo-Nazis had planned to have a demonstration here in Golden Street, and their message was about Jewish privilege and the Jewification of Golden Street. The community had come to the, the community in many different aspects had decided to protest this in various ways. We have campaigned for truth, started our protest against the Nazis with a very clear message to the Nazis when we said no Nazis allowed in gold is green. And it didn't take long for us to have 2,000 followers on Facebook agreeing with us. Following that, the Board of Deputies decided that an attack on Jews was an attack on all ethnicities. And this is where we part company, because we believe very strongly that if you say an attack on Jews is an attack on all ethnicities, you are diminishing the increasing anti-Semitism that's happening across the world. And so we stand here very proudly with Israel to say that Israel is the personification of the Jewish nation. Israel arose out of the ashes of the Holocaust to be reborn as the Jewish people. And Israel and the Jewish people stand as one. Anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism and anti-Semitism is anti-Judaism. Jerry's under the Israeli flag and we're uh, here to say that Israel is the true diversity of the world. You can see this lady standing here. She's uh, not Jewish. She's very pro-Israel and she would never stand for anything other than the Jewish people. My name is Sharon Klaff. I represent a group, an umbrella group called Campaign for Truth. We're the local grassroots uh, group in the area. We, we announced first the um, neo-Nazis plan to come to Golders Green. We had set a plan to oppose them, which was a red and black campaign of the Nazi swastika with a no entry sign. We devised a slogan that said no Nazis in gold is green. We just decided to put out flyers. The Board of Deputies, in its wisdom, made an announcement that an attack on Jews is an attack on all ethnicities. And what we say is that this neo-Nazi attack proposed for Gold Screen that thankfully is no longer going to happen, but this proposed attack was a pinpoint attack of anti-Semitism and Jews, talking about Jewish, talking about Jewish pride and the Jewification of Gold Screen. It was not an attack about Hindu pride or Sikh pride or Christian pride. Okay. So when I totally agree with the campaign. I totally Which campaign, campaign anti, anti, no, they all. All the campaigns try to say the same thing, anti-Nazi. The law in Israel, if I may say so, is precisely the same. And that there is freedom of expression in Israel, and you sometimes have to allow people with unpalatable and even offensive views to be able to state them, because the consequences of suppressing views you don't like are worse than letting them have their 10 minutes to express their views. However, that doesn't mean they could come into the heart of a society and provoke and upset. So they're having their views and they can demonstrate them in Whitehall. And you know what? You will see that the number of demonstrators will be minuscule and that the overwhelming majority of society completely rejects them and they'll go home dejected and downhearted and defeated and that's the real way to deal with extremists not by pushing them into small corners and stopping them opening their mouths my name is Ambrosine I run an organization called Yad Bayad UK and EO anti-semitism and we've been monitoring anti-semitism uh, through social media for 10 years we started the organization in 2008 and we wanted to expose and bring to the
time they want the Jews gassed. We believe, as an organisation, you cannot separate anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism. You cannot separate being anti-Israel and saying that you are loving the Jewish people. We believe and we have proof that we love the Jewish people.